guys. My name is Kai Hendry. I'm an Arshinix user, Suckless user, and by day I work as a cloud architect. So as a fan of the Unix philosophy, I've talked about Lambda before in the context of running sort of stateless web applications, which it's perfect for. But another part of my work, which I quite like to do, is creating these sort of like Lambda glue functions to get the most out of my clients' cloud environments. Going back to Unix philosophy, it usually just ends up to be, you know, a short 20 line little function that I can deploy and it can really help people. And I was just going to show you just two quick examples of, of uh, a couple of functions that I've been working on lately, which I've published. First off is a function for the AWS cloud. And I've called it Sam Cloud Trail, Cloud, Cloud, Sam Cloud Trail EC2. It's a terrible name, isn't it? Anyway, the point of this little function is that you activate Cloud Trail, which is free if you have just one. Cloud Trail gets, since the Amazon Cloud can de be deployed in multiple regions, Cloud Trail gets the events from all the regions and puts them in, in one region. And then you set up another thing called a CloudWatch log and you dump the events in there. And this function listens to those events and basically notifies you when an EC2 instance is launched. Uh, what was what this to show you? The, but yeah, it's a 36 line thing. Okay, it's no JS, whatever. It should be short. And I'm using this, I, myself and my clients now know when EC2 are, are launched around the globe, which is kind of handy. The next little function I was going to show you was one on the GCP, the Google Cloud. I'm using Terraform to, to deploy that, but you don't need to use Terraform. You could just manually deploy it. This one is written in Go. And all it does is listen to EC2, oh, sorry, cloud instance event starts, and then it labels that. Um, why is that interesting? <laughs> well, once a resource is labeled, like usually when you go into your GCP bill, I'm just showing you mine, for example, you'll just see compute. But if it's labeled, if your instances are labeled, then you can drill down by group by label key here on the right you can see which instances are costing you a lot of money. You know, even though they might have like been turned on and turned off, you can see them here once they're labeled. So there you have it. Those are like serverless cloud function, cloud, little scripts running in clouds, which can have a big impact. So I really like to write those things. They're small, they're, you know, they're, they're focused. They're not like big sprawling development projects which just where you need meetings and sprints and you have to work with lots of people. You know, you just need a troubleshooter like myself coming onto the, to the scene and writing those things and having a big impact. So do take a look at my examples. If you notice them, how it could be better, please let me know. Otherwise, like the video and, and a happy script writing. Keep it less than 50 lines of code. Subscribe. Bye, guys.